Good morning, y'all. It is the next day, which is Mother's Day. Y'all hear how I sound? <laughs> like it's Father's Day, right? Good morning, y'all. I have finally, well, good afternoon, because it is 12, 13 right now. I finally got out the house for today. Y'all, it is, well, was storming so so bad in our area oh my gosh when I tell y'all I was terrified I was in the bathtub like at least for an hour I was in the bathroom sitting on the side of the tub or either in the tub that's how bad the weather had gotten and I was just like Lord please don't let one of these trees fall on this house like oh, I was so scared it did cause a lot of branches and stuff like that to fall and one of our trash cans was like way down the street I had to go get that just things that happen when there's a lot of wind because the wind was so so bad it wasn't even so much the rain because it did rain but it wasn't like that it was the wind it even blew one of our screens loose on the back patio it wasn't nothing nice this morning and I was just terrified because I was at home by myself and I was like oh my gosh so I had my phone on me and I was just sitting there, just sitting in the bathtub for the longest. And then finally the wind slacked down and it stopped raining. It knocked over one of my plants, my Monstera plants that was out on the back porch. So I need to repot that when I get a chance or either just propagate it because it broke a piece off of it too. So it was bad y'all, it was bad this morning. I'm gonna show y'all these keys that I got for the Aldi carts. You don't need a quarter with these. And I'll link them down in the description box too so you guys can get some if you are interested. Oh yeah, and I got my nails done the other day. I don't know if I showed y'all, but I got a little Frenchy situation going on. Made it to Aldi. So let me tell y'all why I'm here. Of course to get some groceries, but y'all saw that I had a pie sale and that was successful. I wanted to sell 50 pies. I sold 48 pies, which almost met my goal. So next I want to make some salads, which I was telling y'all about in one of my past videos back. Let me see how to cut these windshield wipers off y'all. So I've been looking up like TikToks of different salads, like people sell salads and stuff like that, just so I could see how people are really eating their salads these days i did see a lot of turkey and ham which is like out the pack and kind of processed i won't be putting any of that on my salad so if you guys like that type of stuff these probably aren't the salads for you i'm gonna make some fresh chicken breast and i'm also gonna make some shrimp you know out of those two i think pretty much everybody eats one or both of those unless you're like a vegetarian or vegan so right now i am headed in here to get a few things that I don't have at home because today I'm making those mock salads just so I can have a TikTok or a reel to show people how they're made. I can take some photos of the actual salads to put on the flyers so you'll see the actual picture of what you're getting. So that is what I'm working on today. Also, we're gonna try out these little keys and make sure they work. So this is what the key looks like. And it's like in the shape of a quarter, but it has this little piece right here so you can be able to pull it back out. So let's go and check it out and see if it works. I'm so excited. Look at the weather, it's starting to get back rainy. So I got the goodies that I needed. This is the type of lettuce I'm gonna be using. And I'll probably mix it with just some iceberg lettuce. That's what I'm thinking. And then I got some red onion some bacon, cucumber, and then I got these little great tomatoes, little cuties. They also have some pretty Mother's Day bouquets in here. It'll probably be after Mother's Day once this post goes live though. They're only $13.99. Oh my gosh, that's Y'all, why I got up there to get the car and the things don't work? Well, one of them don't work. I didn't take the other three with me. I just took one. And I'm just so confident putting it in there, recording my little TikTok. Girl, the thing got stuck in everything. I was like, oh my gosh. Please just come out, just come out. All right, y'all, let's see if it works. Let's see. Oh, why it don't look like it's working? Oh, yes, it, no, it ain't. Hold on. Oh, 
Girl, did they do me? Girl, did they? Hold on. Oh, and it won't come back out. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. Let's try this side. Jesus. Okay, let me just go get me a quarter. Oh, my God. They gave me a card. I went back to get some change, but somebody gave me one. Oh, my gosh. Maybe I won't link down. Oh, shit. Y'all, I put it in reverse. I'm glad nobody really was out there. But now I'm headed to Publix. I got everything I needed from Aldi. I just gotta grab a few things at Publix. I need to get some, what are they called? Not banana peppers, but um, what kind of peppers are they? Oh, I can't think of the, the name of them. But I'll show them to y'all once we get in there. But I'm gonna get some of them because I think those will be cute to garnish the salads with. And I'm gonna get some puff pastry and some more of that Jimmy Dean sausage because babe wants another one of them sausage rolls. She really, really liked that. So I'm gonna make her another one on Saturday, which is tomorrow. I'm back at the house. I'm getting ready to wipe down this table because this is where I'm gonna be cutting and all that stuff. Y'all know these mock salads. I'm just making them for me and babe. But every time I start cooking, I always do a fresh wipe on this table although things aren't getting on it i don't know i just i just clean them down i clean that i clean the counters and i clean my stove every time i'm getting ready to cook and then i think after that i'm gonna go ahead and wash my chicken let that soak in a little bit of vinegar and limes i'm gonna devein the shrimp and take the shells off I am gonna leave the tails on. I don't know why when I make a video. Leaving the tails on the shrimp, washing your grits and rice, and what else? Cast iron, baby. People will argue over this stuff like it is life and death. And I'm just like, seriously? I'm gonna, I mean, regardless of what you say, I'm gonna keep the tails on the shrimp. Yeah, people be going crazy about that type of stuff. I'm getting ready to boil my eggs right now. Each salad is gonna have two whole eggs. I feel like people really love eggs on salad, so I got to make sure I put this timer on these eggs so that they're pretty and yellow. I don't want no green yolks at all. So we're gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. We're gonna keep the lid off and let them cook for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna take them off the heat completely and cover them and let them cool for about two or three minutes and then shock them in an ice bath. Now that I got my eggs going, that'll give me time to work on the chicken. So I'm about to take that out and go ahead and let it soak. I went to sleep last night. For some reason, I just like out of the blue, I just start not feeling good. My stomach was upset. Like I could not start feeling better no matter what I did. So I stopped making the salads last night and I got back on it today. It is around 12 o'clock. <laughs> I thought it was around 11 something. It was 11 something when we started. So me and babe are up this morning, well this afternoon, working on those mock salads. I've already seasoned my shrimp and my chicken. It's still in the fridge. I'm not gonna cook that until like almost at the last minute because I want the chicken to still look juicy and plump. So right now, babe is cutting up the tomatoes. She just cut up the cucumbers. We're getting ready to wash the lettuce. Just prepare all of the toppings that are gonna go on the salad. If you guys are interested, please follow me over on Instagram and Facebook. Those are the places that I'll be dropping the flyers first for the salad sales. Hopefully like within the next week, we'll be rolling this out since we're getting the video footage and also the photos today. She's trying to wait on me y'all because I want to get a little bit of footage for y'all, but she's already cut up. Yeah, that's all it y'all. All of the tomatoes. They done. Tell them hey babe. Hey y'all. Y'all see we twinning with these bumps on our foot. Ain't no twinning. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> it has been a minute since I checked in with you guys, but we have everything cut up, everything cooked and prepped. Fresh bacon bits. We cooked the bacon and babe chopped these down. We also have some cherry tomatoes. I think that's what they're called. They are so sweet. I tasted them myself. And we also have some egg wedges right here. I sprinkled a little bit of salt and black pepper on them. And then these are our garnishments. How cute are the limes and the lemons? They cut everything up for me. Just by everything y'all see right here, they cut this up, okay? So I gotta give a shout out to her. And then we have some freshly grated white cheddar cheese along with some regular cheddar treat. 
cheddar cheese. That is a tongue twister. We have some cilantro. I wanted some parsley, but I don't have any, and Aldi didn't have any fresh parsley the other day. So I was like, well, I'll just put some cilantro on there for the actual video and pictures, and nobody will know the difference, but this is supposed to be parsley, y'all. And then we have the pickle spears, which are gonna go on the side. We got our red onion. Look how pretty babe diced those. We got the, what are these called, y'all? Pepperoncini, pepper, I don't know what they're called, but let me get y'all the jar so y'all can see. I don't know how to pronounce that. If you guys know how to pronounce it, you know what I'm talking about. These are Greek peppers, and this is a really good brand along with this brand right here. Now, I know these are jalapeno peppers, but they do have whatever these type of peppers are called. Then we have some freshly shredded or grated carrots along with some cucumbers and our chicken and shrimp is also over on the side i'll show you guys that in a few minutes all right y'all here go the salads y'all walk with me through just about all of the process of making this you know everything is freshly cooked fresh vegetables freshly grated cheese everything is like sliced and made in home i'm so proud of these this is the shrimp salad obviously and then this is the chicken one i think they look so good i'm about to go outside right now and get some video footage yeah let's see how you doing the pressure oh yeah i've been wanting this forever i've been in the field with whatever they throw at me brush it off pick myself up moving on to the better okay hey no errors, baby, it's a new era. I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm cash. I get to the paper, boy. Extra, extra. Work with me, you know that I got it. Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands. We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it. Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it. Boom, boom. Baby, I'm not one of them, you should try on it. Miss me with all that, I'm on it and next. Yeah. Rip this up, I send you back to your ex. But good luck with that, this is big as it gets. Hey, okay. let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Give them a name to remember. Okay. finished taking the video footage and the photos of the salads they will come with some club crackers along with a couple of utensils plastic utensils and then this one is the shrimp meal as y'all can see chicken meal crackers and utensils so I'm gonna put them in these little lime green bags right here I have a thousand of these left over from another sale that I did with some other content creators like back in oh my gosh was it like 2019 I think it was like before the pandemic it was for sure and I have a lot of these bags left over so I've just been using them for my pie sales and now I'm gonna use them for my salad sales just so I can get rid of them and then I made me and babe a little salad off to the side I didn't like organized stuff like I did the mock salads but I just kind of spread everything out and we're gonna eat this in the car and I'll feed her some while she's driving and that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight while we go and deliver these the salads have been dropped off to the two lucky ladies y'all so by the way happy Mother's Day this video will be up after Mother's Day but happy belated Mother's Day um, we are now at Walmart because we're gonna get our moms a plant to go with their Mother's Day gift. What time is it? It's, it's pretty late, y'all. Hopefully the garden center is still open. This part, the outside is closed. I see, you see that? Yeah. The outside is closed, so we may have to go in through the inside to get there. All right, we can go out this way. Hopefully we can get out to the other part too, where the actual plants are. Y'all, we got one of these. Y'all remember when we purchased this? We need to put it up. Oh, yeah, that's nice, honey. Yeah. And somebody done left us a cart back here. Woohoo! Thank y'all. <laughs>
Good morning, y'all. It is the next day, which is Mother's Day. Y'all hear how I sound? <laughs> like it's Father's Day, right? Let me show y'all what babe has for me. Um, I just got up. She been out here getting the stuff together for the beach because I told y'all I wanted to go to the beach today. So this is our beach stuff. I don't know what we wearing yet, but we're going to wear a combination of pink, yellow, and blue. We haven't completely figured out the outfit yet, but I got two swimsuits here. One is yellow when it's pink and then it's a little wrap and then some pants and then my shoes are also pink babe has pink shoes she got two pairs of swimming trunks and well three pairs of swimming trunks and two tops so we'll figure that out right before we're getting ready to leave I have towels here for the beach and then here's my mother's day gifts y'all know i love me a good plan babe getting ready to make the sandwiches y'all we are having some wraps today we have um, that pepperoni. Remember I told y'all this is a really good pepperoni from Publix. We're going to make some wraps. Load them up with lots of veggies. And then I cooked some chicken yesterday for those salads. So I got two breasts left. She's going to use one of them to cut up and make um, a few wraps out of it. And then the other one she's going to take for lunch tomorrow. Y'all, we at you. So we done made it out the house. Got on my little swimsuit. I just got this cover up on for right now. Just because we had to go drop off the Mother's Day gifts to my mom, my mother-in-law, and my aunt. So I ain't wanna, you know, have that other outfit on while I was doing that. So I just got this top on for now, and we had to stop and get some ice. Y'all, if y'all have gone to the beach with us before, y'all know we stop at this little place right here to grab the ice. It's just a little ice vending machine right in the middle of nowhere, basically, because the store isn't open. I don't know if that's somebody's home right there. It's like abandoned out here. But I was thinking, look at this nice piece of wood. And I'm so probably not supposed to be trespassing, but I wanted to show y'all this right here. This will make a cute little, a little picture. A little nice backdrop to some photos. I think it would. Are these called, I don't know if this one is called, but maybe that one right there aren't those called driftwood trees and then there's the water over there we probably have about 15 minutes to get to the beach and to our destination our little sisters are coming with us today i invited them to see if they just want to come and hang out with us because initially it was just going to be me and babe but they real cool i text my little sister i was like what y'all doing sunday y'all want to go to the beach with us and she was like yeah sissy let's go i'll also link another video of where we went to the beach and we actually grilled out there on the beach it was more like a family thing but today it's just us and we just chilling made those sandwiches i didn't show y'all but i made like a little fruit salad had some blueberries some strawberries those leftover lemons and limes that i cut up for the salad yesterday i put those in there along with a little bit of honey and some cilantro it's real good babe like you gotta make me this for work because i need this little fruit salad for work so i guess i'll be making huh yeah Y'all, it's 11.30. Wasn't I just saying, I hope everybody like at a mama house or spending time with a mom at the house and all that stuff. Look how long this line is to get to the us. gate for the beach. A lot of traffic behind us as well. Look back there. Oh my gosh. I just wanted me a little quiet time on the beach, but it don't look like I'm gonna get that today, y'all. I may I'm have to sorry. go one day during the week. Damn, when I ain't home. I'll just take off with you one day. And I'll take you. Oh, y'all, the park is closed. It's high tide. The beach and everything closed, I guess. So it's not technically closed, but we can't drive on the beach. And this is a drive on the beach. just uh, wait here for a little bit. They said 1230. It should, like start going back the other way which is like 11 30 right now 11 41 so i guess we're gonna wait out here a little bit and see see what they gonna do see what we gonna do but yeah that's why the line is so long because people are either you know turning around or either going on in to the beach but we'll see how it look when we get back here so we can go out there and make are they letting people drive on the beach yet? No, um, it's still closed off. All right, y'all, so we gotta park in the parking lot until 
they open the beach up for us to drive on. Look at all these doggone people, y'all. I just really thought today was gonna be a quiet day. gonna be at the beach today. It's Mother's Day for It's Friday. Mother's Day. I thought people was gonna be at their mama house or taking their mamas out to dinner. No, honey. Church. This a new generation, baby. This is this dang, is new. Say dang that. Well, I ain't never been to the beach on Mother's Day, oh, so yeah. I don't know if it's normally like this. But I just assumed well, I it would have never quiet. thought it would have been like this. Y'all, why the beach still never open? Like the drive on park never open. They closed the gate, so my crazy. sister and them couldn't even get in the gate to come back to where we was. So we decided to just leave and go down to Fernandina Beach, which is about 30 minutes away from us. So hopefully we're able to get get um there. I don't it's been like a long time since I've been to Fernandina yeah, Beach. Like Fernandina back in the yeah. day, 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 like spring break. Stars lighting up the night and a shooting star so vibrant you have to make a wish. Hopefully we're able to get into this beach, y'all. We done passed by three beaches, I think, and all of them are to capacity. What what does everybody know that I don't know? Is Mother's Day the day to go to the beach or something? Because if it is, let me know and I won't go on Mother's Day no more. Cause this is ridiculous, y'all. All these beaches we got in Jacksonville, Turn in Florida. Left up to Ash Street. Okay, let's see, y'all. Let's see. Let me show y'all. But all these beaches and all of them full. That's crazy. In a quarter mile, arrive at Fernandina Beach. We made it to the beach. We here, y'all. We're about to take some of our stuff down to the beach. It is um, quite a bit of people at the front right here, but hopefully we'll just go down a little farther and. Not so many people, but we shall see. But we're gonna have to end up making two trips to the car because I got one bag and they got a couple of things. Y'all, there's so many doggone people at this beach. I don't know if I'm staying. I, I just really don't. This is not what I wanted for Mother's Day. I did not want to come to an overly crowded beach. So we will probably just end up going back home or either going back to our sister's in the house or something like that. We'll see whatever they want to do. Yeah, see what's I going to the left here? I'm gonna see what this is right here to the left, but I don't, I pretty much think we done passed like beach, beach, you know, we getting past it. Okay. Peter's Point Beach Park. Okay, this is a beach park. Let's see what this is. Yeah, you know, we done, we done went around our city today because you know that, that's the, that's the house. Okay, let's see what they got down here. And everybody know about this, cause these down here too. That part. <sighs> All right, y'all, my battery about to die. Now I want to die when we finally got to the beach. Yeah, I got some extra batteries. Okay. So we getting ready to get out the car. Yes. I just want to lay out, y'all. That's all Me I want to do. But I'll see y'all once we get this stuff and get down here to the beach. <laughs> I'm trying to hold my camera and my phone. Finally made it. Finally made it. Now we just gotta find somewhere to go. <laughs> they struggling, trying to get this stuff across. Yeah, we couldn't drive on the beach because you either have to be in the military, have a handicap sticker, or be a resident. Look y'all, a jellyfish. 